This has to be a Check it out. Where's that? Okay, robot. A booster. Oh, it's up. There you go. Next. Check out. Ha ha ha. I'm going to be active for the next one. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay. I get it now. Are you back in, guys? Oh, there we go. Oh, I don't know how I get it. I don't know how to get out of here, folks. I don't know how to get out of here. Oh, shit. I'm going to run out of here. It's kind of hard to get out I don't understand this puzzle shit. I don't understand. Ah! I got it. It's not a favorite video. Oh shit. Oh shit. Nope, that's not it. Go to the Macedon system in the Artemis Tau cluster. It's the only thing that makes sense. Macedon system. In a cluster. Macedon system. Macedon system. So it wasn't this one. That's the one where. It wasn't this one, right? No. Oh, I didn't see this one. Isn't that one though? So the only one it could be is Sharjila, but there is nothing on Sharjila. Oh my lord. That took too long. Hola, mi amigos! Uh huh. Yeah, you thought you had a chance against. Sit your ass down. Sure you didn't want to surrender, my guy? All your friends are dead. All right. Perimeter secured. <laughs> didn't want to surrender. I mean, good on him, but... Fool move. They got Krogans. Uh, grenade. Yeet. Eat this. 
Yeet. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bam. Oh, my God. Go, go, go! Dude, my gun sounds so intimidating. Bruh. Way to waste your ability. I just disintegrated her. <laughs> you don't want to do this, son. You're a slaver, huh? Come here. Slaver. She ran? Bitch. Negative contact. Fucking run from me, motherfucker. That the Asari leading these slavers are important. Our sisters, you need to return. Oh, well, this is interesting. So the Asari slave I just domed, and her sister are sisters. Not really a reason to kidnap, but. Got some more stuff. Well, that's how I do that. Let's get out of here. We just made some really good progress. Next, we'll be doing the Geth. Alright. So, first, we're going to head back to the Citadel. And we're gonna go talk to her in the lounge. See what the fuck is going on. We'll bring Ashley, our girl, and we'll bring Lara out. Because she needs to get out of the ship. She's been cooped up in the ship since we saved her. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. All right, let's go. Right ahead of the embassy lounge. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with oh, Commander here we go. Shepard, the first human specter. Commander Shepard answered difficult questions, demonstrating that under that military uniform is a keen diplomatic mind. What? We'll have exclusive footage later today. But he, but the guy said that she ran circles around me. But yet this guy's being nice and saying I have a diplomatic mind, which is perfect because that's exactly what I was trying to go for. Did you know Citadel Security is the largest multi-species law enforcement agency in Council... In a further development in the Eden Prime investigation, the Council has reportedly revoked the Spectre status of one of its operatives. Hmm. While the unnamed operative has not yet been apprehended, a Council spokesman confirmed that corrective actions had been taken. Uh, to the embassies and away. We're gonna go confront her ass. Yes, Shepard? Did you find my sister? You lied to me. Dahlia's dead. I killed her myself. If you don't want to end up like her, start talking. No need to raise your voice, Commander. 
Surely you can understand why I lied to you. No. If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. You just killed. I misled you. I could not risk you exposing me. You just killed your sister. Care, it's no longer a problem. I don't like being used. Next time, do your own dirty work. I am sorry I wasn't honest with you. We have trust issues in my family. I can fucking tell. Yeah, exactly, Ashley, exactly. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. Credits won't cut it, bitch. I'm a specter, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. True. But I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. Get out of my, get out of my face. Can you believe this shit, guys? Or girls? God damn it. I got played like a fiddle. Played like a goddamn fiddle, son. Um... Increases health. Increases health. Oh yeah, I need that. Cause holy shit, is my shit bad? Uh, we'll do. Oh, advance first aid. We'll do that. And she has. So we're just gonna auto level up. I do read these just really quickly. I don't. Thank you guys need or care. Let's see what she looks like with a helmet. Interesting. Alright. Can't believe I got played like a goddamn fiddle. Oh. It says that there's a side mission with Aviani, but I, I just don't see it. So we're gonna go. Do I have anything? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I could go. T I could go talk to Conrad again. I think he's in the upper markets. The markets, yeah. We're gonna go, we're gonna go talk to him again. See what's going on. I like Conrad. He's a, he seems like a halfway decent guy. Plus, I could find. I'd like a new shotgun. Welcome back, Earth Clan. Will you be needing? Show me what you've got. Yeah, shotgun. Oh, perfect. How does it compare to mine? Oh, give me that shit. Did I get it? I think I got it. Yep, perfect. Oh, thank you. I'll give my shitty Ashley. Give her the hurricane too. Cause it is garbage. All right, we got all red weapons now. Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. What's up? I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. What's on your mind? With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. Well, I... What if you signed me on as another specter? What? Why would you want to be a specter, Conrad? Because I wanted to show the council what humanity can do, just like you. I'd make a great specter. I want to be with you, fighting the good fight like you did on Elysium during the Skillian Blitz. There are other fights. I believe you, Conrad. But there's another fight that needs you. What? I, I don't understand. I need people at home. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. 
I just got so caught up. He's a good dude. It. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. No, I didn't mean to burst your bubble, Conrad. I really didn't. But you have a wife at home. She needs you. <laughs> We're gonna go to the Citadel next, because I think there's one or two side missions there. We'll grab them real quick, and uh, I know there's that one where the dudes like talk into the fucking little thing. Uh, this guy. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Hmm. What? Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. Damn. I uh, yeah. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Relax. Just tell me what you're doing. I'm not here to get you into trouble. All right. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Yes, he's feisty. Use a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. Uh -huh. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well. Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm a Spectre, bruh. My name's Shepard. I'm with Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. A Spectre? Well, nobody would dare stop you. All right, then. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. But why? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Hmm, that's fair. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long. And good luck with the scanning. And now I know there's also one more. We'll scan him while we're right here. Uh, oh, hey, Emily. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. What's up? Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Traffic controllers? What kind of help? What do you want me to do? I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. <clears throat> we already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? That's fair. I mean, that's pretty fair. In order the results. If you crack this story, what's likely to happen? Ideally, there will be calls to improve working conditions by hiring more controllers and upgrading systems. The Council won't pay for improvements voluntarily. This story will provide that pressure. I'll try. I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the bug. I like Emily. She's a good investigative journalist. She seems to be doing it for the greater good. Excellent. Just place it on the terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. You know, to be fair, though, she does seem like a halfway decent person, because every investigative thing I've cracked for her has so far been for the good. Um, there's also one more where, where this dude outside, oh, I'm still learning this fucking place, um, where the dude outside is, uh, getting harassed. Oh yeah, there's, eh, fuck it. I'm on a break. What? Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Hmm. Well, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm motherfucking Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? Yeah. My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. 
just dropped right off the grid. Huh. That usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Those are both bad. <laughs> Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. Yeah, do the whole thing. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What's the reward? Isn't anyone else looking into this? My brother's just a small independent trader. Ships like his disappear in the traverse all the time. What's my reward? What's in this for me? I can't afford to pay you anything. If I had that kind of cash, I'd have hired a recovery team to track him down already. Then I won't Maybe you do. look into this as a personal favor, you know? Huh. We humans have and to I stick owe you? together. Hmm. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't have any real weapons or shields. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Yep. Just uh, give me a little bit of time. I got a lot of shit on my plate. I still have to investigate the Geth. What they're interested in on those two planets. I got a crew I got to take care of. I got news stories I got to break. I got keepers to scan. You know, my plate's full right now, buddy. But I have no fear. We're going to go. I know there's one more. Um, I think it's by the consort chambers. Where that, with that squid thing is getting harassed by the cop, I think that is also. It's kind of rude calling it a squid thing, huh? But I just don't know what they're called. But I know he's over here getting harassed. No, he's down here. Sorry, guys. We're doing a lot of walking today, but get shit done. How come there's a Krogan right there? You see, why does... Why does it say Aviani? Welcome to Presidio... The sta In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the council. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avina. Have oh, Avina. I said Aviani, didn't I? Helena Blake, huh? Got a moment, Spectre? Uh, sure. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> Good for you, bitch. <laughs> How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. What do you want? I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. Uh, kill them? They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Uh, what are the known crimes? What crimes did these men commit? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. Say no more. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. Say no people. more. They must be Say no goddamn more. I could charge you, though. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Arrested for what? You and I are simply having yeah, a conversation. I... I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. I eliminate them and then you take over and try to eliminate me. How stupid do I look? While I appreciate your estimation of my bravado, I have no intention of attempting to murder you. You are the first human specter, and you yeah, have yeah. no interest in red sand or slavery. I'm assuming Anyone red sand who is... does deserves to die. Our needs are aligned. God damn it. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Just remember. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to Just meet you. Just remember this, Miss Blocke. I'm a Spectre. Where'd you go? And if you pull some dumb shit, <laughs> I got a fucking sniper rifle with your name on it, bitch. Why do you have a pistol? You can go back to your 
Avenger 3. Um, we can talk to this shopkeeper and see if he's got anything good. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Della Ninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Della. You are so weird. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Hmm. Specifically, Hanar only oh, refer to themselves in the first person with family or intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Hanar. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. It just you will not be I can't imagine. Can they see? Are they? Let's look up non. Let's look at the non-humans. Yeah, I'm I'm broke as a joke, so I'll sell all my junk and we'll head out. I got f nothing. I have no junk. <laughs> so I know there's the Hanar. Now that I know their name. Nah, he don't matter. He's getting her. Yeah, tell him. Who are you to tell me what my husband would? Damn, want tell him, Rebecca. I'm the only person making sense right now. You're endangering your baby. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Is there a problem here? Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. Why? I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. Right. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. Right. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Hmm. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. Ooh. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Yeah. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. Hold on, hold on. What's the danger? What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? One in three hundred at most. Oh God damn! But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in three hundred, I will always wonder if I. I mean, one in fifty is if, pretty if big. I killed my baby for nothing. Yeah, <sighs> I mean, I'd say let her choose because one in fifties. I mean. And if, if she, what she's saying is correct, that there could be unknown long-term conditions, let her choose. It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. You're not helping. Of course she is. So are you. Yelling at her won't bring your brother back. How dare you? I'm trying to do what's best for the baby. This is what's best. Then support the baby's mother. Stand with her when she makes tough decisions. This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. Then don't stress the mother... All I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. We will. I promise. Thank you for talking with us. I appreciate it. Sweet. Did you guys hear that? I'm a fucking mediator. Do you want to talk, huh, bitch? No? Where is... Oh, there he is. There's the Han. 
한 Get the way. This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Rules? Reason. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. That's fair. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly welcome to try. It's a jellyfish? I thought it was an octopus. Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? So what's the problem? What's going on here? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Let me talk to the CSEC officer. Perhaps I can explain the situation. This one would be most grateful for the assistance. Please let this one know if success is achieved. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> Any progress with that Hanar? Sorry, I'll let you know if I come up with something. I don't care what the something is, as long as it rids me of the Hanar. Has the CSEC officer been assuaged? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. I thought. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Well then, could I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. You do now, bitch. 150 credits? This should cover you. Make everyone happy. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. That was this easy. One offers its thanks. Hey, buddy. I see the Hanar has left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here. For your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. How much did he give me? Ah, uh, nothing? Cheapskate. Um, I think that's pretty damn good. We're gonna go scan this. Unless this right here is another one, but I doubt it. Nope, okay. We're gonna go scan this keeper and then bounce. You see, I already got my 150 credits. Shut the fuck up. You alright? Oh, it looked like she was like holding her stomach, like she was having stomach pain. Alright, we're bouncing. We outie. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 2. Behind me. To your left is one of the keepers. You may see keepers involved in the keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the harsh Citadel. punishment. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh penalties, including incarceration and rehabilitation. That's all for now. Thank all right. you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. That's your pleasant having a day up, bitch. Oh, there's another keeper over there. I gotta go scan. Hold on. We're gonna scan this bitch and we're dipping. We have arrived. Alright, let's go hop uh, back on the Normandy.